The new Wildtrak powered roller shutter offers a sleeker design and cleaner profile. The cargo area in the low box has increased by 20 millimeters in height and 80 millimeters in length from the roller shutter to the tailgate. The new design offers improved security and functionality. Accessories channels run down both of the side rails to allow users to fit aftermarket accessories as desired. The roller shutter can be activated in three different ways. Via the button on the driver's side dash, via the key fob, or the switch in the load box. The vehicle must be unlocked in order for this switch to be functional. After activating the roller shutter, it will begin to open or close until it reaches either end of the load box. If you want to stop the roller shutter, pressing any of the buttons or double clicking the key fob will stop it. Activating the roller shutter again will send it in the reverse direction. In the event of the roller shutter being obstructed, the anti-pinch function will activate. The roller shutter will reverse its direction a small amount to allow for the object to be removed. If the roller shutter is activated after the object is moved, it will continue to travel in the original direction. If the obstruction is not cleared and anti-pinch is activated for a second time, the direction of travel will be reversed. If the roller shutter loses its position memory, it will enter manual mode. In manual mode, the key fob will not be able to be used. The load box and dash buttons will lose one touch functionality and the anti-pinch feature will not be active. In manual mode, the roller shutter travel speed will be constant, losing the soft close and open feature. To resume normal operation, you will need to reprogram the roller shutter. Press and hold either the dash or low box button until the roller shutter is halfway open. Press and hold the button again until the roller shutter reaches its fully open or fully closed position and continue to hold the button for an additional three seconds. Now press the button again and hold it until the roller shutter reaches the other end of the load box. Hold the button for an additional three seconds. The roller shutter will now be fully operational. To keep your roller shutter running smoothly, regular maintenance is important. This will involve keeping the side rails clear and clean of any debris. If the performance of the roller shutter decreases over time, apply either a PTFE or silicon-based lubricant into either sides of the canister. While the lubricant is fresh, cycle the roller shutter open and closed a few times to help the lubricant spread through the system. In the event of snow and ice buildup in colder climates, it is advised to clear the top of the roller shutter as much as possible. If the system is frozen, anti-pinch functionality can prevent normal operation. This can be overridden using the ice brake function. To do this, press and hold either the dash or low box switch for at least three seconds. Continue to hold until the system has broken free of any ice. No matter your lifestyle, the new Wildtrak Power Roller Shutter has you covered.